Hey, I have a love-hate relationship with paracord bracelets. I love them because it's paracord and there's so many different ways to use it. And I hate them because you never want to use it because they're a pain in the butt to untie. So, I've messed with many, 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 many different variations over the years. And I think I've finally settled on one over the last couple of years. This is pretty much what I do. Um, I don't really even like to wear bracelets in general, but I wear cowboy boots most of the time. Yeehaw! And I don't have laces. And just this little amount that I'm able to carry on my wrist puts me so far ahead of the game in certain situations. I can use it to break out of zip ties. I can use it to cut pipes if I need to. I can use it to make fire. I can make fishing lures out of it. So, like, the world is your oyster with paracord. I think that's pretty much been proven now. But let me bring you in close and show you how quick and easy this is to whip up. So first things first, we got to make a stop or not. This part is what goes into the loop and secures it around your wrist. So I'm going to show you on this piece. I'm going to take a bite of line. There's my tag in. I'm going to fold it over on itself. I'm going to take this one on the left. Put it up through the one on the right. Like this. Now I'm going to take the end and run it up through here. We'll have to trace it back, but I, I want about an inch of tail here. It just makes it easier to take on and off. And this is a Celtic button knot. You can use any knot that you want. You just want it to be kind of chunky, and this one is chunky and flat. So I'm just dressing it up. And then I'll tighten it up. So there's my little button knot. This is a little on the long side. I'll probably cut it off right here and just singe the end. You don't want this being all frayed out. Just take a lighter to it. So from here, I'm going to use this to actually measure around my wrist. I got my knot right here. The line's going to come around my wrist. About where I want it. And about how tight. And so I'm using this. To kind of mark that. So now I'm pinching this bite that would have went around that knot right here and that's how you get your length. So here's the bite that I just grabbed and measured and here's the knot. Now we're basically going to make another little S curve. Now it's coming back towards itself. Just like this. And so depending on you, how you look at it, it's an S or a Z. Alright. And right here is the original bite that we measured around the knot. I'm going to leave about an inch with my extra line that's still attached to the roll. I'm going to wrap nice and tight right here and start working my way down to the knot portion. And so the neater and tighter you can do this, the better it's going to turn out. But I try to keep everything nice and flat and uniform. All this really is, is like a super neat speed hank. <laughs> and if I want to get more length throughout it, I can kind of pull this down and be able to fit more wraps onto my 
measured length. So as we're coming to this bite, I know I'm not going to need much more, so I'll go ahead and cut this off right here. So here's my end I just cut off. And what we're going to do is keep wrapping it up, and kind of like a whip knot, once we get close to the end, see how I have that bite open right here? Here's my knot, there's my bite. I'm just going to pass the end through. So I pass my line through that bite, as you can see here. And then I'm just going to start pushing this down the bracelet to secure it in place. And that's it. We'll uh, trim this off and singe it, and now you got a quick deploy paracord bracelet. So there it is, the finished bracelet, and as you can see, it's quick deploy. It's going to get twisted a little bit, but if you're careful about unraveling it, you know, and that gives me a little over, you know, six feet, which is very useful. You know, this is a bowstring and a half for your friction fire, um, all kinds of different ways you can use this. And if you're like me, and a lot of times you don't have laces on, it's smart to carry stuff around. Even like, you know, things like this from Wazoo. I always have this on me. I always have some line, and I don't have to spend a bunch of money on a fancy bracelet that I don't even want to untie. So in those, you know, quick instances, it's not a big deal. And even whipping this back up, it's going to take me, you know, a matter of minutes. Just measure everything out again. Got my loop. Make my S or Z, depending on how you're looking at it. Leave about a half inch up here. Start wrapping. Towards the end here. Pass it through that little Light. push this up and there you have it she's done ready to wear one thing I do want to say is you can make this obviously much neater than this just turned out I'm just trying to do it real quick but you can roll it out on a hard surface and make it more uniform you could put stuff in there sometimes I, I carry little fishing kits in here um, Wazoo makes those little tubes full of things that sometimes I've wrapped it in this as use it as a core. Um, the world's your oyster, but there's a lot of different methods of getting bracelets and things like that. And this is one of my favorite just because it is, you know, a truly quick deploy method. Just pull this out. So yeah, there it is. If you like cool tips and tricks like that, um, we're starting to expand our horizons on, on class subjects and it's been a very popular request for a knot class. So we're going to be posting those and it's something very near and dear to my heart, my past life as an EOD tech, um, jumping and diving and defeating IEDs not knowledge was, is very personal to me and I, and I've really have used it in life and death situations and um you'd be hard pressed to find somebody that has thought as much as an eod guy about knots so uh i really enjoy teaching it it's something you know i grew up doing so he's fascinated with it my dad was an eod guy as well and uh 
I remember him, like, I, I think the first knot I ever learned that I thought was super awesome was like a monkey's fist. So, uh, it's something I've been working on for, you know, pretty much my whole life. And I find an everyday use for it. It just always happens. Um, not just for bushcraft and survival, but this stuff is the original duct tape of the woods. Well, not paracord, but cordage in general. And it is, you know, unbelievable the amount of stuff you can get done with just a few knots. And uh, that's something that it, it's going to take practice on your part, but I can really speed the learning curve for you and kind of point you in the right direction on what ones to learn, why, and how we use them. And um, if it's a skill you want to acquire, uh, that's one of the best ways to do it is get, take a boots on ground type class, see the value in it. Um, you'll pick up a few in a day and then you just expand your repertoire of, of useful knots and everybody has their favorites and different things like that. But highly encourage you to check it out. Um, it's something that I have noticed really slows down. Like the average student that comes that, that maybe hasn't, gotten their feet wet in the bushcraft world and they probably hear you know don't know what not tie a lot probably more often than they should where it's for me yes there's instances where that applies but that's just an excuse not to you know educate yourself at the end of the day because somebody that knows their knots can set up a shelter within minutes one minute two minutes max where don't know a knot tie a lot guys are fumbling in the rain and getting soaking wet and when it really counts that could be very dangerous so for me it's worth to spend the time to learn some knots so hopefully you'll come and check it out and even if you can't come to a class at least learn some knots check out some of our other videos we got a lot of knot videos already up on our channel um, and there's plenty of other guys that know the value of knots as well so maybe try to find one in your area myself and the gray bearded green beret are kind of not nazis um so i'm not the only one that sees the value in it um and even uh, between the two of us we got different stuff that we like and it all is useful and it all works and that's the point have yourself a system so that when you have to improvise and adapt you can and you can do so quickly so until the next video guys i'll catch you later